In late 2011, the American people came together in protest against a burdensome system and intolerable government. Homes were being foreclosed because large corporations and banks had too much power. Higher education was becoming unaffordable and the American middle class was shrinking rapidly. Instead of opening its arms and uplifting the huddled masses, this country began to work against them. Rather than being a haven for the poor, hungry, and weak, it became a factory that created them. This movement sprang up on Wall Street, New York, and inspired different cities around the nation to follow its lead. But the fire behind this revolution was sparked from much further away, in a country where conditions of homelessness, hunger, unemployment, and corruption were ubiquitous. In January of 2011, the huddled masses of Egypt had no option but to hit the streets. But it wasn't education or housing markets that they were fighting for. The movements have often been placed side by side in comparison to one another, but it's safe to say these revolutionaries are coming from two very different places. Will not be silenced whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're an atheist. You will demand your goddamn rights, and we will have our rights, one way or the other. I'm here because corporate greed and financial greed are ruining this country. They face different opponents and run different risks. It's very bad for my government. I haven't food, I haven't anything. Me and my children, I will die today. I personally am here because I think it's about time that we had a very open dialogue. I'm here to support the people. Why else would I be out here? At the end of the day, no injustice, big or small, should go unchallenged. The American people were clearly inspired by the bravery of their Arab brethren, but the situation in Egypt also sparked some fear. If we didn't fight the oppression that was squashing our society now, we would soon have a much harder fight on our hands. The people of Egypt have shown us that the time to fight is now, and a global movement for justice has begun. The crowd just exploded into cheering and flag-waving uh, and chanting the word freedom.